Hello and welcome back to another video. So I am just back from my weekend in Amsterdam for a hen party with my friends. So you can probably tell I am absolutely exhausted after it, but no rest for the wicked. Uh, we must keep going. The uh, cattle needed moving as soon as I got back from the airport yesterday. And then I was back to work this morning, but I have to go spreading fertilizer this evening because the grass is not growing. And when I tell you the grass is not growing, I mean it is not moving at all, um, which is not a position we want to be in. Uh, as I mentioned, I had to move the cattle a lot sooner than I thought I would have to. Uh, so they have gone down to the new place. They'll probably last this evening and I'll probably have to move them again tomorrow. So they are absolutely tearing through the grass. We might have to buffer feed with some silage bales for a while to try and get us caught up. But I mean, I'm here, it's May. I have a t-shirt, a fleece and a jacket on. The sun is kind of out there now, but the rain we have had again, we have had some torrential downpours. But I do hear that the temperatures are to go up to the mid-teens in the next few days. So the plan will be get the fertilizer out, get it washed in and we'll have some nice warm weather um, to start growing the grass is the plan. So I have the spreader on the 135. I also then will need to put the topper on the 390. So yes, the 390 is hopefully making its debut uh, in this video. I probably won't get topping this evening just by the time I used to check the cattle and all that. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get topping because again, I need to get it topped before the grass starts growing because I don't want to be undoing any growth. Um, when I'm down there topping, I might tell you the plan for it. Uh, you're probably saying, why don't you top it and then put the fertilizer, but I just need to get the fertilizer out now. Um, so look, I'll get going with this and we'll go through a few bits then throughout the video. We'll see how much uh, I can cover in, in one video anyway. So I just headed out with uh, protected urea again on this ground. So we'll switch it up now probably for the next lot of fertilizer. But we just said we'd go with half a bag to the acre to get things going. You might see I am a bit sporadic in the way that I am doing it. So here I just try and put more on the clear ground. Um, I did put a bit more in the rushes this time as well just because... The plan was to go topping it all so I just thought I might as well put a bit more where I wouldn't perhaps normally but it was a very quick job just blasted it out you'll see there uh, going around in circles and whatnot but it did the job. Now I struggled a bit getting the topper on, nothing major, but I suppose I just wasn't really used to those size arms or anything. So it was actually quite difficult and the ball inside as well was like jammed on both of them. So I had to release those, but it actually wasn't too bad. And this handle here was ideal. It just made things so much easier. You'll see me freeing it there now, but um, it just makes it so much easier not having to hop in and out of the tractor to do it. Um, the next issue then was the PTO shaft. So the usual, I was struggling with it um, and don't comment on the fact that it's broken there. I know I need to probably get a replacement. Got a bit of WD-40 just to help me get it on because I had no grease. Had to take off the top link to get into it um, and just with a bit of elbow grease got that in there. Um, put on the top link and it actually fit fine. I still don't have a PTO guard for the tractor because the one we got we can't seem to fit it. I don't know what is wrong with it so we have another one ordered and hopefully that will 
suit and we'll be able to attach it i don't know but um for now i just have to wait that also took a bit of force but here we got there in the end and that was job done now it's a different day compared to yesterday although maybe a t-shirt is a bit premature it's a bit breezy so i'll keep it quick I have done my first run with the 390 and the topper and I flew over it, which is amazing. So I'm gonna set up the camera, see if I can record a bit, but it seems to be going well so far. I was a bit unsure about the, the RPM, but we'll see how we go anyway, but so far so good. Now you are going to have to ignore my fat lip. I had an incident with a pigtail, uh, which I managed to spring load uh, somehow and whack myself right in the face with. So I have a fat lip and I had a good bloody mouth as well, but yeah, nice look for me. But uh, yeah, so ignore that. And I am out. This is my second day topping now and I have finished off all the rough stuff and everything there so oh it looks so good compared to what it did now to be honest is much grass going to come in there no because there is just such a thick layer of rushes lying on top of it now anyway but it should help some bit so as I mentioned, the weather has been awful. So yesterday, sun was shining. You can see there now, probably. It's so dull. It rained all day. So the ground is wetter than I would like it to be. But we are going to see some better temperatures uh, in the coming days. And then I think the start of next week, we're to get into the high teens even. So hopefully my hard work here this week after work is going to pay off and we'll get a bit of growth now i know it will be slower to come because i topped it but look i gave it the fertilizer i've got the rushes out of the way so the light should get into the grass so i'm just really hoping that we will get grass growing um when i was down with the cows as well when i had my little incident um i was checking the grass and i'd say we're definitely going to have to buffer feed silage for a week um or two maybe it is shocking it's just shocking the lack of grass i can't get over it i really can't so i'll be into the co-op again tomorrow getting fertilizer doing where they came out of and i had to move the other cows as well again earlier than i thought i would so yeah but look those temperatures will grow grass i know that but i just really thought we'd be uh, ahead of where we are 
But this is here done. I'm delighted with it. The tractor is a superstar. Honestly, not a bother to it. It's great. Um, I'm not the best with it yet, but I'll get my lining up better and things like that. I'm going to head over to the next field and I'm going to show you my plans for there now. I'm getting fierce lazy on the tractor now, but I'm over here in the real rough stuff. Um, so that's the stuff that hasn't been topped in years behind me. And then here you will see where was topped last year and I put the muck out earlier. So my latest plan for here is to top the living daylights out of this whole place because we got so little time out of it now that I'm just annoyed with it. So I'm going to top back there as far as I can. There is a certain point where I just have to stop because there's big rocks there and I don't want to damage the blades on this. So I'm going to top as much of this as I can and then I am going to get the muck and spread every bit of it in here as thick as I can, especially in this part where there's no grass growing. Down at the bottom where we do get grass, I'm not going to bother. That got fertilizer a couple of days ago as well. So um, there's just, we're getting nothing out of this field and it's just really frustrating me. A lot of people told me to do a soil sample. We did actually do a soil sample, but it was two years ago now, so we could do it probably getting another one done. But it's either low in P or K. I can't remember which because one field is one and the other is the other. But what we're going to do um, during the summer anyway is just get whatever it's lacking in here. And then we're probably going to try and lime it at the end of the year because it's just hard to know when do you lime, when should you lime. So I think we're probably going to try and lime maybe in September. It did get lime two years ago when we got those soil samples, but it needs more. It, it didn't really have any effect, I would say. So that's the plan for here. But look, I'll show you the end result. I might show you the cattle then um, and how they're looking. And um, I'll finish up there. Then I won't do the muck spreading and things in this video. Now, I think this is roughly where I started recording when I came into this field. I'm done. I think it took about two hours. I ran out of diesel. I had to go get some, um, but it's done. And as you can see, I even did the really rough bit. The furs are gone, everything. Oh my God. I love this tractor so much. <laughs> it is not a bother to it whatsoever. Um, yeah, I'm delighted with it. Some really wet patches in here. I did tear up a little bit in areas, but as I say, any bit dug up in here can only do it good, I'd say. But uh, yeah, really happy with that. So look, something might come in there. At least the furs are cut and they won't be spreading too much. Although I probably spread the seed now, but look, um, it's great to know that it can it can sort them out. So. That's it for here. Delight with the job done. Uh, going to run to see the cows now. I'll give you a look at the grass there and I'll finish up for the night because it's getting very late. Now I'm just finishing off with the cattle now this evening. Um, it's getting late, but they're all here except for Isabella's calf. I did see him earlier though, so I know he's here somewhere, but she's calling him there now, wherever he is. Um, I don't know, can you see there behind me? You can see nothing but rushes, I suppose, but that's the grass situation. Not good. They're very unsettled. They came running to me when they saw me. So that's usually a sign that they want to move. But yeah, I'd say we'll definitely have to start feeding a bit of silage just to, to hold things back a bit, which is not where we want to be. But look, at least we have it to give it to them. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. It's late enough now at this stage, so I'm going to head away. And uh, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.